So first, I want to talk about a big, big niche. Um, I would say probably the majority of you, or even, let's say 50%, are running e-commerce businesses. So let's just run through a few straightforward examples of what's possible with a chatbot um, for an e-commerce business. Now, this is by no means an exhaustive list of ideas or opportunities. These are just some basic templates, some basic notions. Um, these are just some basic straightforward ideas that will work very well out of the box. So e-commerce again refers to if you're selling anything online. Um, that could be a digital product, it could be a physical product, it could be a subscription. Those are all, those are all things that sort of refer to e-commerce. Offering special coupons, limited time promotions. It's a really great way to promote a sale, limited time promotions that are being run on your site. And when you do it through Facebook Messenger, you could actually generate more leads in your pipeline to be used at a later date through chatbots and drip campaigns as well. We're gonna talk about uh, coupons and discounts when we, when we talk about psychological principles in bot design. This is the principle of scarcity, but it's a great way to get started using a bot and these are really easy bots to build. You could use chatbots to find out what your prospects and leads are in the market for and use that information in future campaigns. So for example, for an e-commerce company uh, that sells furniture online, we might ask the user through a chatbot, say, hey, how you doing? Just wondering, what are you in the market for? And you could offer them some different options and, they could, and, the, and the user would self-select, I'm either in the market for a sofa, a sectional, a recliner, a love seat. Great, we're gonna save that as a variable and, and we're gonna go through all of this step-by-step step in future lectures. These are just very high-level ideas, just, just so you could see what's possible. And now I know I could have a contact list built in MobileMonkey of 100,000 leads and I know what each one is in the market for based on their own self-identification. That's very powerful information. Now I could do a chat blast for love seats. I could do a chat blast for recliners to specific audiences who are in the market for those specific products. So it's really, really powerful. You could use chatbots to answer questions about returns and refund policies, right? Those are very, very common uses for live chats and people calling into customer service. Imagine the, the, the workload that you could take off a live team or the additional value that you could offer website visitors or your Facebook leads by being able to answer all those types of questions automatically, you just have to set it up once. You should use chatbots to promote your selling promises like free shipping, quality craftsmanship, you could get more complex again and use Facebook chatbots to figure out and ask people what is the most important of these selling promises to them and then have separate chatbots that promote that specific aspect of your brand or company or product. <clears throat> it's very important to think about how you could put news into your chatbot design. News has a special, weird, unique thing about it that it just creates higher engagement levels. If it's a new product, a new service, or even if it's a new way to use an old product, when your headline and when the chatbots talk in a way that's promoting something new, you, see, you typically see much higher engagement rates. So use your chatbots to promote news. So again, if you have a new product or you have a new way of using an old one of your products. Use chatbots with chat blasts and drip campaigns and even Facebook Messenger ads to generate leads by promoting those news and you'll have two very powerful things combined. You'll have the efficiency of a, of a Facebook Messenger bot and you'll have the fact that you're promoting news on social media which is its native place for news to be. So those are two very, very, very powerful things combined to create an unbelievably profitable and cheap lead generation and even revenue generating chatbot. Education. Even if you're in e-commerce, right, you might typically think that educational resources are more for, you know, software as a, as a service brands and, and more service oriented brands, but it's not true. Successful e-commerce companies know how to educate their consumers, their customers, their leads, and they invest a lot of money in doing so. So for example, a client of ours, we'll, we'll, use this, we'll use this client um, in, a, in a bunch of different examples, offers IV hydration therapy to people in different cities around the country. And typically people who are hungover, but also athletes, etc. Uh, it's a new sort of thing. It's sort of catching on in the country now. It's a really exciting market actually. But uh, there's a lot of unknowns about it. People are nervous like, I don't know, some nurse who I don't know is going to put an IV 
in my in my arm and what's in the bag and whatever it is. So we decided to create a campaign, what's in the bag? So we just we 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 teach people what is vitamin B12 and what it's used for. How much of vitamin B12 is in the bag? What is saline? What's vitamin C? What are all these different types of vitamins? And now we could use chatbots to send out and and sort of supplement our no pun intended our our what's in the bag campaign where people who are now interacting with our our Facebook ads and our Facebook posts using Facebook comment cards are now getting messages messages on a regular basis giving them information about each one of these individual vitamins why it's safe how it helps the person feel revitalized and rejuvenated and it's been an, an extraordinarily effective way to help our customers and our leads become more comfortable with this service and we've seen those results and it's quite impactful. So um, if there's two takeaways from this lecture, I would say it's think about how you could implement news into your campaigns through chatbots and also education because of course the limited time promotion, the sales, those are all the easy things. We all know how to do that. Um, but the, the expert marketers are going to figure out amongst you, the experts amongst you are going to figure out how to implement education and news in your campaigns. Just quickly, two more things. With e-commerce, you could also use Facebook chatbots to run polls and surveys. So if you're trying to figure out what your customer preferences are, it used to be very expensive and really tricky to send out a mass survey um, or a mass poll to get actual real-time feedback from your customers. Now with Facebook chatbot, mess with Facebook Messenger bots, it's really easy and you get really good data and you could use that data to personalize your campaigns moving forward. So um, again, if you're a company that sells furniture online, we're using this as an example in this in this lecture, and you're putting together a, you're designing a new sofa, you could pull, you could throw out a poll offering three different options of three different designs or three different upholsteries, and this could be applied to any e-commerce business in the world, and you could literally ask tens of thousands of people instantaneously to choose their favorite one, and then to add, and then to say why they like that one the best. And people will engage. It's Facebook Messenger, this is what people like to do. It's totally mobile optimized. You could offer them a 5% discount for engaging with the poll and survey, and you can get enormously powerful information when you're coming when it comes to planning your campaigns and planning your products and services that used to cost tons of money and take tons of time to do. If you go back a few years, brand marketers would have given their left leg to be able to have this capacity, to have this capability to run polls and surveys. And lastly, competitive comparisons. This is one of my favorites. It's using Facebook Messenger in a sort of cheeky way to like highlight why you're better than, than the competition. In this case in particular, we had a whole uh, campaign running us against Bob's Discount Furniture and we would send a picture of the Bob sofa and with a similar price point to the sofa of our client and we would say, you know, which one do you like better? And we had a whole, I'll show you guys the back end of that interesting chatbot, but the whole idea was to basically say, look, these are the same prices. Ours is such a nicer sofa. It has so much better reviews. Um, it looks so much more comfortable. It's, it's upholstered in much, more, it's in, in much higher quality fabrics. And it was just like a very funny, like us against Bob's competitive comparison campaign. And you could do that at scale quickly and it's very effective because you engage people in conversation, you ask people to make choices. Um, so competitive comparisons along with polls and surveys is another really powerful way to use chatbots in e-commerce and for e-commerce businesses.